Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw Maggie Simpson. I'm going to do it step by step, and it's going to be easy and for beginners, okay? So if you're a beginner, you should be able to do this easily, okay? So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do, well, first thing I'm going to change the marker. That one's kind of weird shaped at the end. Uh -uh. I'm going to draw a circle. For Maggie's eye. <sighs> draw her nose. I'm going to pull out here. Curve in. Okay. Next thing is I'm going to draw a circle here in the back. Excuse me. I just belched. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh my god. I've been sick, so a lot of weird stuff's been happening. Uh, but I am much, much, much better now. Thank you for all the kind words. But everybody was super nice during my illness. Uh, I was sick a while ago. Line here, line here, line here for the eyelashes. <laughs> Dot here for the eyeball, dot here for the, uh, I mean, the pupil and iris together, essentially. <laughs> I'm going to curve over here a line for the side of the face. Also, remember, um, if, remember to pause, rewind, go over again. The reason that is good um, is because when you rewind and you go over stuff again, you remember it better. You really do. It gets into your long-term memory. And the idea is that, you know, you could uh, draw this a month from now. And then even the proportions would be a little weird, but you'll have a like 80% of it in your mind like a month from now. If you kind of rewind and go over and go over and go over. Um, because a big part of this is um, kind of the process of learning. And so kind of going over something over and over again keeps it in there. Curve line here. <clears throat> We're draw Maggie's pacifier. I'm just going to draw a curve line first before I close it off. Horseshoe shape here for the front. Another one here. And I'm going to merge those two. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the curve line there. Curve line right here for the bottom of the mouth. She has a pacifier in her mouth. <laughs> I'm going to go maybe about uh, between the nose and the pacifier, and I'm going to move back. And I'm going to find her ear. Her ear is just like a backwards letter C. And then a Y. On the inside there, a curved Y. I'm going to pull a line down for the back of her neck. And I'm going to merge the bottom right here. Oops, one of my lights went out. All right. Pulling a line down here. And then dying down here for her back. And it's just going to go downward. Line here, line here for the top of her arms. Bulging line here for the front of her, uh, you know, outfit. Pulling down, <clears throat> line down here. Well, let's go to our hair. I'm gonna pull a line over here, throw one triangle, then I'm gonna pull another one out here. It's just like a circular shape, you just keep it circular. Um, line here, another triangle. Line here, another triangle. Line here, another triangle. Here, another triangle. Continue. And then the one in the back here is going to be the smallest. <coughs> so let's draw the bow on her head. Small circle here. Line out, down, in 
for the bow and line out down in for the bow on this side. You could draw the rest of her body if you want. Let's do that. Pull, well, let's pull a line across here. Down. Draw our three fingers there. You could draw four. And then you could pull a curved line at the bottom and then pull it back. And pull it down here. Curve a few lines here to the fold. And then um, you could draw a wiggly line here toward the back. And then now you have her whole body. <coughs> Excuse me. Still got a lingering cough. Line out here, line out here. Line over here. Line in there. Just kind of drawing a bolder line around the outside perimeter. Sometimes I think that looks nice, so just gonna do that. For the most part, you're done. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna do this as style points. You don't have to do this. <clears throat> channel's been going for six years and I've updated it more in the last six months than I have in the last six years. I'm actually buying a new, uh, well not new, right? Like a newer computer because my computer's like 10 years old. I'm buying a newer computer so I can um, kind of edit videos easier. And so that's going to be my goal for this uh, to kind of improve the channel in as many ways as I can uh, and kind of bring more stuff to you guys other than just video lessons. Uh, <clears throat> I want to do coloring books. I want to do um, all kinds of stuff on here. Maybe stickers. Um, but that's that's all in the future. So right now I'm just kind of working on my editing skills and see if I can Im improve that to a point. If you like what I do, please um, subscribe and click that bell notification. It helps a lot. It helps me keep track of the growth of the channel. And it's just a, you know, monumentally a great thing, honestly, for the channel. Um, the other thing is, if you just like what I generally do, share a video. When you share a video, it brings a ton of, like, positive traffic, I noticed. It's a very different kind of traffic. Whoever comes here through, like, a, recommend, a recommended source just seems to be really nice. I don't know what that's about, but everybody's super nice to be like, comment who find me, like, if you just share it through Facebook, Twitter, like, Tumblr, any, any, you know, Reddit, any of that stuff, uh, I always get really cool people that come back, and I don't know why that is, but, so, I always say it improves the positivity of the channel when that happens, so, please do that if you ever have time, um, I know it's a small click for you, but it's a huge deal for me, it's the equivalent of, like, um, like, literally tipping me or something, money, you know, but it's not money, it's free, it's just, you know, you just share the video. Anyways, that is it. I'll talk to you next time. If you hear my voice right now, say hi to me in the comments section. That means you got to the very end and I will reply to you. And that means I know you got to the end. Um, and that is it. There's easy pictures to draw and I'll see you next time.